Hey YouTube, it's Mike with Thousand Reptiles. So I'm cutting my first clutch today. I know it's a little bit early, but the eggs look like they're ready to go. They've been dimpling in for the last couple of days. And I've just been really excited to finally cut a clutch. This is clutch number one. Um, today is day 51, but I'm sure they'll sit in the incubator for another week or so before they come out of the egg. But I, like I said, I was really excited to finally cut and I had some free time this afternoon. Um, just a couple quick things. Uh, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I have gone over 100,000 views, so I was really pumped about that when I saw that the other day. And I'm actually almost at a, almost at 1,000 subscribers. So again, thank you everybody. You know, keep sharing my stuff. Um, keep liking it. Keep uh, sharing it. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm very excited to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark, and uh, I guess the next big mark is 200,000 views, but I have some time. Uh, the other thing I want to say is, this is clutch one that I'm cutting today. I've had five clutches already hit the ground. I have two clutches left, my Hep Pie Girl and my Mojave Girl. They're going to the 10th and the 15th. And then I have a hog nose clutch that I, I'm pretty sure she's grabbing. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get eggs from her any day now. So there will be some videos coming, but I haven't had a video in at least it feels like a while. So come on over. Let's, uh, let's show what we're cutting today. Today is, if you can see on here, I don't know how well you can, but it was my Enchi male to my female ghost. So everything that we get in here is 100% ghost, 100% het ghost, I should say. Um, my goal is obviously to hit these edgy head ghosts. Um, <clears throat> I uh, will probably hold back a male and female edgy head ghost if I hit on both. Uh, hopefully I hit enough that I can sell a few too. So, like I said, we are on day 51, but if you take a look at those eggs, they are uh, dimpling up very nicely. I think that even though it's a little early day 51 to cut, I think it'll be all right. Like I said, there are seven good eggs. All right. We'll see. All right. So, here. and this year I did my, uh, I did everything a little bit different than I did last year. Um, I have a bigger incubator, so that was one thing different, but I incubated straight on the vermiculite this year. I didn't use a light diffuser, and uh, I really felt like the eggs stayed fatter better or stayed swollen better. Um, last year on the egg diffuser, I felt like I was constantly having to add water. I felt like um, the eggs seemed very dehydrated, so I'm, I'm very happy with this method uh, that I've been doing it this year. Uh, so, like I said, let's uh, see what we got. Cut too much just because, like I said, we're a little early. But we get enough in there that I can peek in. And uh, I don't know what the camera can see or can't see, but that to me looks it looks like a normal. But normal and entries are both. It's hard to tell, you know, the difference at this age. Like I said, I'm doing small holes because we are early. Um, there's the first one. Ooh. Like I said, a much, uh, much more um, goo or juice, whatever you want to call it, in these eggs than they were in my eggs from last year. And see, yeah, they come right apart. That's a good sign. All right, let's see here. I don't know if I'll be able to honestly tell the difference between a normal one and Enchi in the egg. Um, we'll find out. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I don't know if you want to try to zoom in on that, but I'm getting the next. So again, like I said, I don't know if I'd be able to tell the difference between an Enchi and a, a normal in the, in the egg anyhow. So it's not the most exciting clutch in that aspect. But uh, while I'm cutting, let me, uh, the next clutch, which will be actually next weekend, I'll probably cut next Friday or next Saturday, whichever day actually, uh, Fits my schedule better right now. Looks like Saturday morning it'll be. That is a really good clutch I'm really looking forward to. Um, the female was my champagne. She gave me seven eggs. And um, 
She was bred to my Enchi male, the same dad of this clutch, and to my banana male. And uh, I'm kind of hoping for a banana champagne, uh, but I'd be fine with some Enchi champagnes too. But uh, that is a clutch that I'm really looking forward to. Um, and that'll be next week. It is hard to tell, but I had to say, I think that is an Enchi. But like I said, it's very hard to tell. All right. That looks more normal to me. So again, I really have no clue <laughs> with normals and NGs, but if I had to guess, I would say three normals and one NG, which is not the exact odds I want, but we'll know for sure once they come out. This egg here feels very swollen. So I'm going to cut a small hole in this one. This hole I cut really small. This egg was not as uh, indented in as the others. So I didn't want to cut the hole as big. Um, but again, it's hard to tell with such a small hole. So while I'm cutting, let me just talk real quick about my, uh, so my hog nose clutch. My male is a super conda, who's pos head albino, and the female she is um, a du a pos double head snow. So I'm really hoping that they both prove out for the uh, albino. And uh, oh, that one's kind of cool looking. I think that's probably an enchi. I know it's really hard to see. Um, but yeah, so so I'm really hoping that uh, they proved both of them out as albinos and I hit on the ana uh, albino anacondas. That's obviously what I'm going for in that. This will be my first ever hognose clutch. Um, so I'm excited for that. I do have some corn snakes as well. Uh, that should be actually, one of my first corn snake clutch should be hatching any day now. Um, if they haven't already, as of this morning they had not. But uh, they are. They were due, uh, I think the second was two was 60 days. That to me looks like it might be an NG also. So I know I didn't do the biggest cutting of the holes here guys, but it was early. Um, I didn't want to cut them too big since I was cutting early. Um, but like I said, uh, today was day 51. I'm sure in about a week or so they'll be out of the egg. I'll be doing a video on that. Uh, like I said, there'll be a video for a couple more clutches that are still supposed to hit the ground as well as a video for um, cutting next weekend. So again, this was, uh, I don't know if you can zoom in on any of these. This guy here is moving a little bit. But this was the Enchi and Ghost. So these are all 100% head ghosts, no matter what I hit on, if it's Enchi or normal. So again, thank you everybody. Enjoy. Osmo Reptiles out.